Well, that's a good sign. We got a hit already. First hit in a couple days. All right, welcome back, everybody. We are in the heart of wintertime surf fishing. It's slow. I mean, it, there's gonna be a lot of days when you're gonna come out here and you are gonna struggle to find any sort of fish whatsoever. And then other days you're gonna get set up on structure where the fish are just gonna be on fire. Today, we're, we're basically shooting for whiting. That's, that's what our primary number one target in the wintertime is, whiting. It's just the most abundant. Yeah, you're gonna find some black gum, some pompano, you might even find the random redfish croaker here and there. But for the most part of it, the bulk of what we're gonna catch in the wintertime is whiting. Well, let's go ahead and check it out, see what we get into. Jump the gun on it. There's gonna be a five inch croaker on there. It ain't gonna be anything big or it would've pulled it hard. So if he keeps pulling on it after a few minutes, he's probably hooked up and we'll reel him in and get him off there. I believe we are hooked up on the Carolina rig. Nope, came off. Carolina rig is definitely hooked up on that fish there. There we go. Let's see what these little critters are swiping everything. A little whiting. I don't know if he's gonna be quite 10. Actually, he's definitely gonna be 10. The question is, I'm over here with my dad. We'll see if he wants to clean it, whether we keep it or not. That's the question. So I ain't cleaning fish today. You want him? Okay, any keepers? Okay. 10 and a half inch whiting going in the cooler. You better start reeling, it's gone slack. That line's really bowed down. On there? No. Whatever that was hitting, definitely was coming in because I could see that line kept drifting down. A little, a little bitty whiting, probably. There we go, a little bitty feller. Hey, we've already knocked the skunk off today, so that's what matters. That's a good thing. Get rid of that winter skunk. You got another hit down here. Another little one, I think. He's not tiny. I'm just not quite keeper size. Not, not, not quite there yet. What's going to happen is we'll catch two dozen of those. And oh I'll yeah. Wish, I wish I'd kept them and had those nice little Oh ways. man, I don't know. <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to cleaning little bitty fellers like that. I know, but right after he caught that whiting, we get hooked up over the bar here. That guy's actually pulling back a little bit. That might be a decent size whiting, maybe. Hey pretty solid right there it actually made me let go of the handle let the handle slip out of my hand i wonder if something hit him i saw some bait fish in front of that bouncing looky there got us a pop and oh little baby pop <laughs> oh we got us a pump today big old nasty slob of a pompano this morning he's he's a little fella we're gonna send him back but i'll never complain about catching pompano in the winter time look at that good looking little dude let him shine in the sun a little bit there all right get out of here you on there he's on there hey i keep these drag sets super light on these little 2500 size reels just in case a big ugly finds it and gives it a good pool there we go got us another whitey this has been awesome like this the surf has been so slow lately like it's been a struggle to find anything so i'm having a blast catching these little whitey and it's just that time of year i mean this is this is going to be the bulk of the fish we catch when we get lucky and find them because there's going to be a lot of days you don't even find these dudes look at this i mean i literally just threw that back out man these fish are all over these carolina rigs just need some slightly bigger fish than what we've been catching though he's gonna oh yeah he's gonna be 10. i always do prefer my whiting to be a little bit bigger it's crazy i mean even just an inch makes such a big difference in whiting but he's he should be 10 if he is we'll toss him in the cooler i mean i'm not cleaning him today so it don't matter to me but hey, 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 come here pin you down oh yeah right at 10. We'll get you in there with the others. All right, real quick, just to show you the Carolina rig setup I've got today. My main line is just 15 pound true braid. We got a three quarter ounce egg sinker, barrel sinker, whatever you want to call it on there. Then I got a bead and the bead is to stop the sinker from slamming into that knot. And then I've just got a small swivel here. My fluorocarbon leader is just 10 pounds, nothing very big at all. And then at the very, at the very end, I've got a size four circle hook with some fresh shrimp on there. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, I don't think he stayed on there though. Well, that definitely bent, but let's find out. Yeah, he's on there. Come on up here, buddy. I think this guy's gonna come up just a little too short though. Drew a little more for us. Okay, trying to get another rod baited up to throw over the bar. And they just won't give me a chance. These widen keep just smoking these Carolina rigs today. Damn. Come on, where's your where's your big buddies at? We need some just a couple inches bigger. There we go. There we go. I was just just talking about how, how lightweight this setup is, and it's hard to tell when it's the waves or fish on there. And I start to walk away. And we get hooked up on another widening. I'm half tempted to go on ahead and pull one of the big rods and throw out another Carolina rigs. I mean that I mean plain and simple, that is what these widening are all over today. This guy just got a little thump. Not hooked up though. I lost that other one. It acted like it was getting hit too. Just double check this feller. Hey, we're hooked up on this guy. Okay. Went ahead and threw another Carolina rig out. One of the smallest whiting of the day. This one, this Carolina rig right here, it's got six pound fluorocarbon on it. Just wanted to see if it would get a big one to bite or something. I don't know. On, got here. you a little one on there? I about gave up on it. He's actually biting. Good. Look at that, he's changing direction. Oh man, is it a little pump? Look it is there. a little pump. Look at there. Look at there, he got you a little pompano today. Good deal. <laughs> the pompano fishing is hot today. <laughs> it's too bad he's not two inches longer. He'd have been a keeper. He's just just short. Hold, hold him up high. Don't hold him down low. There you go. How's that? I'm, gonna, I'm getting him on the camera real oh, okay. quick. And I'll also, I'll also take a yeah. mug shot for you. Yeah. Let me make him as big as I can. Oh, yeah. That makes him look like a lunker. Oh, yeah. He's every bit of eight pounds. You got another one. Well, another little wadding. It's all right. I'm, I'm kind of glad the little croaker cleared out. Oh, got a hit down there on the end. Not going to get in a rush, not going to go sprinting down here to it because it ain't no pig. Maybe, maybe it'll be another keeper whiting. Ooh, I don't think so. <laughs> the way he came out of that water, he did not look like a keeper. He's not. The weird thing is, obviously, I'm not keeping any of these tiny little whiting, but I'd rather catch these little guys than little croaker that I throw back. And I don't know why. They're, both species are going back, but I just feel better catching whiting. Uh, I don't know if that's wave action or if there's a little whiting on there. We got a little whiting on there. We're bound to accidentally catch a solid size whiting. I'd, I'd assume at some point a big whiting's gotta be in this mess of small whiting. I think I'm getting a hit down on the end too. Let's toss him back, make a little walk down there. And we're hooked up on this guy too. We have got to find some big ones at some point today. But if we don't, I mean, it is what it is. I am not upset about catching these guys. But I mean, that's that's the bulk of what we're catching today. I mean, this is probably an eight inch widening, maybe. If we could just find a few in that 12 and up, you get such a good fillet off of them. But hey, it is what it is. I really haven't been this busy chasing, chasing, chasing rods in a hot minute i mean it's it's been a long time it's kind of nice it's fun i mean it's skip it's keeping us super super busy today i mean even if we don't catch another fish at this point i mean it this has been a blast i mean everything's been small but we've found a few keepers and in the the pompano i mean that's awesome I, I did not expect to catch pompano this morning whatsoever so super super excited to catch them and you know what maybe we'll find a keeper pump i mean i just threw one over the bar again to see what happens and Maybe we'll get lucky. If you're hooked up, a hundred dollar bill says it's a seven inch widening. What do you want to bet? You want to bet a hundred dollar bill on that? No, because I <laughs> think I'm hooked up and there's not hardly anything there. Oh, <laughs> it's, up, it's on there. <laughs> Who'd have guessed? Oh, it's an eight inch. It is, it's a little bit bigger. That might even be a nine inch widening. You should have took that bet. I'll tell you what, if it's 10 inches, I will fillet the fish. If it hits 10, I will clean all these fish. Oh, come on, baby doll. No! Oh, I lied. That was a complete lie. I'm not really cleaning those fish. <laughs> Look, and I didn't, but, I didn't no, see. No, I know. He was actually longer than I expected. I, I, I lied. Uh, <laughs> I had my fingers crossed. 
full of crap. I ain't cleaning any fish today. I'm over there messing around, and you're over here catching more pumps. I like those little ones. Cute. Oh yeah, the prettiest can be, aren't they? Absolutely. It's a lunker. It's a solid. I was gonna thing. say it's it's bigger than anything else that's hit today. It looks like. Could this be the keeper pump? Oh, I hope so. It's, it's going. It's I was gonna say it's doing a little bit of a run there to the right. Oh man, be a keeper pump. Be that keeper pump we're after. It's got to be a pump the way it's running left and right. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that beautiful thing in that wave? Oh my goodness. Oh, I think he, that's a no doubter. That's a keeper pump. All right. That's a no doubter. There is zero question about that being a keeper. Oh man. Oh. Hold on. Let me check this guy. It just got a solid hit. It, it ain't no, it ain't no stud pump like that. But we're hooked up over here too. This was like a small widening. Let me get this guy off of here. You catch all the big widening. You catch the keeper pumps. I'll just, I'll just be back here. That's what you're supposed to do. You're right. <laughs> oh, did you get a picture yet? Well, no, I didn't get a picture yet. You're not supposed to throw him down in the sand yet. Go hold him in the water and rinse him off. I'm afraid I'll rinse him. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, yeah. I'm not falling for no, that. I wouldn't do it either. Uh -uh. No way. Well, that was a great day of wintertime surf fishing. Zero complaints. And you know what the best part is? I don't have to clean any of those fish because I lied. I am not taking that bed up. He's cleaning them because he wants to eat them. You know what? I don't mind doing that. I kept 13 whiting and one really nice pump. That's, so pr that's pretty good that, for winter down surf fishing. That will make a that'll make a really nice mess. Absolutely. You don't you realize we lost track at around 40 some whiting and went well beyond that. Oh yeah. I've never had a day like that down here, and this was my eighth trip down here to surf fish with you. Yeah, it was wild. I mean, it, it was, was crazy. A, a lot <laughs> of fish out, of out there. <laughs> yeah, about <laughs> ran out of bait. He ran out. I was about to run out, but. Awesome day. I really appreciate that. That yeah. was fun. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So until next time, and I'll see you later.